In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of 1 over sine x dx. All right, now to start with, um, I'm going to take a look at that denominator. I've got sine x. There's not a lot I can do when it's a sine x. I can do a lot more with it if I had, like, say, a sine of 2u. If I had a 2 in front of that, then I could use some double angle formulas. So I'm going to set this up so that I can use those double angle formulas. I'm going to start by letting my x equal to u. All right, when I do that, then I'll have a sine of 2u, then I can do some double angle substitutions. All right, now from here, let's go ahead and take the derivative of both sides. I'm going to have a dx, and on the other side, I'll have a 2du. Okay, now let's come back up here to our um, integral and do some substitutions. So I'll have the integral of 1 over the sine of 2u times, replacing dx, I'll have a 2du at that point. Okay, now I've got the sine of 2u, so I want to do the sine of 2u and replace that with the 2 sine u cosine u, so that double angle formula right there. So then we will have the integral of 1 over, replacing that, I'll have 2 sine u cosine u, like that a little bit longer, times the 2 du. Now at this point, I'm going to be able to cross out those twos. Okay, now at this point, I've got 1 over sine u times cosine u in the bottom. I'm going to work on this top, and I'm going to replace that with a nice Pythagorean identity. Sine squared u plus cosine squared u equals 1. So I'm going to make my numerator that. So I'll have the integral of a sine squared u plus a cosine squared u all over the sine u cosine u and then du. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to break it into two integrals. Okay, so we're going to break into two integrals. Okay. So I'm going to come all the way over here because it may take that many lines here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to break this up into two integrals. Uh, it's going to be really simple because i got an addition there on the top. So I'm going to have the integral of a sine squared u all over a sine u cosine u du plus the integral of a cosine squared u all over the sine u cosine u du. All right, whenever you choose to do that, you should probably always then go back, look at these two, re-add them, make sure that you get that rational expression when you do that. Now at this point, I've got two sine u's in top, so one of them's going to go away with the sine u in the bottom dropping out. In the top here, I've got two cosine u's, so one of those will get crossed out as well. So then I'm going to be down to the integral of a sine u over a cosine u du, and then plus the integral of a cosine u on top and a sine u on the bottom. All right, now on this, um, pretty common quotient identities there. I'm going to substitute those for what they're equal. So sine over cosine is tangent, cosine over sine is cotangent. So then I'm going to have the integral of tangent u du plus the integral of cotangent u du. Now at this point, um, now it's a pretty straightforward integration. Hopefully you have both of these memorized. This um, integral of tangent u is going to be the negative natural log absolute value cosine u. And the integral of cotangent is that natural log absolute value sine u. And I can put in my plus c. Okay, now we want to keep going, simplify this a little bit more. This has got a negative and it's in front, so I'm going to rearrange them so that I can use some log rules. So I'm going to have natural log absolute value sine u minus natural log absolute value cosine u, and then our plus c. Okay, now let's come up here. All right, now this is I'm uh, subtracting two logs with the same base, which means I can condense them into a single log and make it then the natural log, let's give myself a little bit more room here, natural log absolute value sine u over 
cosine u plus c. Now I've got an um, quotient identity there again that will give me a tangent, so I can replace that. Natural log, absolute value, tangent u plus c. All right, now I gotta come up with a value for my u. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna look with what I started. I started with letting x equal to u, okay? So if I let x equal to u initially, I can solve for u, divide both sides by two. So x over two is gonna be equal to u. So now I have a value for u, I can put it back in. I'll have the natural log, absolute value, tangent, x over two, and then plus c. So, um, not bad for an integral, okay? Lots of different approaches, lots of different ways to work this out and, and go through this, all right? Um, using this kind of rather um, unnatural uh, substitution here at the beginning, just with the sole purpose of having that double angle formula so you can take that approach to your substitutions. But definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please be sure and share with your friends so that they can benefit as well. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.